What I've realized after making YouTube videos for years now is that guys hate intros and the quicker I can get you guys the information that you're going to learn from and that you're going to listen to because it's genuinely going to help you, the quicker I can help you get success. So with that said, I titled the video today, Ignore Women If They Display This One Trait or If They Do This One Thing When You're Seeing Them. And fellas, I just want to preface this video with this quick piece. This goes for women you just met. This goes for girls you've been seeing on a consistent basis. And this also goes for women that you might be in a long-term relationship with. I don't care what stage of the dating game you're in. You need to watch out for this one thing. Because this one thing that I'm about to show you in this video is literally the kiss of death. Like, it's, it's literally that bad. You're going to go down a downward spiral. The whole interaction with the girl and the relationship is going to completely self-sabotage. And what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is not make that mistake. Over the years, I have shown you MBT and tons of the thousands of students of successes that we've had. And one of the biggest things over the years is people always say, Casey, I want to get in, but you know, like where I'm at right now, it's, it's just hard for me. Okay. It's hard for me to get in because of the enrollment cost. And because of that, I gave you guys a little gift. I provided to you a little link. Okay. For black Friday tis the season. I'm doing it early this year. I don't have a whole lot of seats open, but I just wanted to show you that because when I've had a program that has literally gave guys results and so much maximum fulfillment for so long, I'd be crazy not to show you this. So that's down below. It's only for a few days. I recommend checking it out if you want. But nevertheless, what I want to tell you is this. The number one biggest thing you have to watch out for, ignore women if they do this one thing, okay, is this. You give more commitment and she lowers intimacy and sexual desire, okay? This is literally the kiss of death and you probably won't even see it coming and here's why. What you're going to notice in the beginning of relationships with women is that if you're seeing them on a consistent basis, if you're not one to pressure for relationship or exclusivity, okay? And when I say that, like, I'm the type of man or I'm the type of individual, I don't need like, I don't need a girlfriend. Now, guys, real quick, not to cut off the video, but as I'm watching this playback, I'm seeing just how powerful this is. Seriously, stay to the end because not only am I going to be giving you advanced, you know, tips with masculinity and self-improvement to bring your best self and make yourself the most attractive option possible, but I'm even going to get even deeper into the levels of psychology and how women think when it comes to hypergamy and what you have to do to position yourself as literally the best option. So just stick with me until the end. This video is definitely going to pay off. So as a guy, you have to have stuff going on. You have to have shit going on in your life. To be a high value man, you have to actually have shit going on in your life. And that shit that you have going on needs to equal real world success. You can't just do things and year after year, you're in the same position. If year after year, you're in the same position financially, it's like, dude, what have you been doing with your time? Like screwing off? If you're in the gym every single week, every single month, and you're never any stronger, like, dude, what are you doing? So the work you put in needs to have results to show for it. That's huge. Women love seeing results. But here's what you're going to notice. If you're not pressuring for a relationship, if you're not one to need exclusivity, like me personally, I'm like that. I don't need to have a girlfriend. I don't need to know that she's committed to me. I'm perfectly fine being present in the moment, having a date. We'll give each other a hug. She can go home. Good to go. Like I had a fun time. But here's what you're going to notice. The more you do that with a girl and she sees that you're outcome independent and you don't necessarily need her, the more she's going to want to try to lock you down. The more she tries to lock you down, the more you have to realize and understand this. She's wanting your commitment. Okay. Good women versus bad women will operate differently once they get commitment. So let me explain to you the, the biggest thing you have to watch out for, and you need to ignore girls who do this when they do show this. If you give commitment and she lowers intimacy and she lowers sexual desire once she has it, that is not a good person. That is not a good individual. Okay. That is not a good individual at all. So this is what girls will do is they're going to pressure you. Okay, for a relationship, pressure you for commitment, but then instantly once they get it, you're going to notice that they stop putting in the work that it took to actually get you. What does that work look like? Well, they're willing to be sweet to you. They're willing to be caring. They're checking up on you. They're asking how your day is going. When it comes to you two hanging out, they're very intimate. They're very touching, right? They may be very sexual. They may be willing to, they, they, they have so much desire for you. It's like they, they can't help but melt when they're in your presence, Okay. You're going to notice that. But the second they get that commitment, if they start to pull back, if they start to disrespect you, if they start to show low interest, but they're still expecting your commitment, here's why a lot of guys struggle with this is because they don't understand why she's doing this. 
okay? Your attention and who you are as a man has a certain amount of value, okay? And that value is a psychological perception of value. So before when you didn't want to commit, your psychological value in her head was up here. Like, here's this guy, right? I'm really into him, she's thinking. I really want him to commit. I don't know if he will. You, you, you have so much psychological leverage and power in her head. And that's just how the game works. As soon as you, you commit, what you're going to notice is that psychological power and leverage drops because now you're attainable. Before you weren't attainable, a man who's not attainable, that's very sexy to a woman that registers so high on that woman's hypergamy. Okay. When you're willing to lower that psychological leverage and you're willing to commit, it does not have as big of a pull on that hypergamy anymore because what's going to happen is now you're attainable. A man who's attainable, even though it's nice that she has you, it's just not as sexy. It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's not as prestigious as the guy who wasn't. So you have to remember that. But I'm going to give you a little tip when this happens, okay? What you have to look out for is girls who do this, who pull back once they get commitment from you. The issue is that they genuinely don't respect a good man. Like a good man who is, let's say, has, has business in his life, has purpose in his life, right? Chases his passions, chases excellence, is strong, is powerful. It knows how to speak well, is very competent. That's a strong, powerful man. That's a strong, powerful individual, okay? If she pulls away from that just because you committed and you're not exercising options anymore, that is not necessarily a good individual, on her end. That's her not being a good person. So that doesn't mean it means that she literally does not respect a good man. Here's what you have to do. What you have to do when this happens is you have to completely ignore her. You have to ignore her, ignore her text messages, ignore her calls. Okay. And you got to understand too, a lot of you guys are so impatient. You have to play the long game with women. You just have to, they don't operate on this impulsive, urgent scale. Like a lot of guys do a lot of guys. They want to text a girl, get the text right then. Then from that text, they want to call her right then. And then they want to set up a date within that week. It's like, that doesn't operate like that. If you do start to ignore a girl, it might take her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days to start to notice that she doesn't get as much attention from you. She's also playing the psychological game to see if you'll break first. If you fully commit and you fully pull back, and by commit, I mean you fully pull back with intent is I'm going to ignore this woman because I was not treated the right way. If you're willing to do that, you're going to slowly watch her interest raise and you're going to watch her say things like, why don't you talk to me anymore? She might call you two, three, four times in a row. This is what girls will do. What you're going to notice is every single needy behavior that low value slash beta dudes display. Like when they call a lot, they text a lot, they give a lot of compliments. That's typically the exact sort of like actions you're going to see women take when all of a sudden they realize that you're ignoring them. Your attention is the only leverage you have as a man. Your attention is your only currency and negotiating power in a relationship with a woman. That's all you have. Who you give that attention to and being very selective with that time, energy, and that attention is the biggest superpower that you have as an individual. So to show you an even deeper degree of this, here's why it's really, really powerful to ignore a girl is because nothing registers higher on a hypergamy scale psychologically than you being willing to walk away from a woman, okay? Okay. I need you to understand that for your head, through your head. What is hypergamy? Hypergamy is women wanting to mate up. Okay, they want the guy who is the biggest, baddest, strongest option. They don't want they're equal. They typically want a guy who looks and appears so high up on the hierarchy scale that it's just so attractive. Okay, when you know how to, when you ignore a woman, it tells her one thing. It tells her psychologically, and even if you're a low value or high value, it doesn't matter. It tells the woman psychologically, hey, only a guy who is high value, only a guy who has things going for him technically would be able to walk away from me like this. Only a guy who is high value or prestigious is willing to ignore me. You start to frame that psychological what if factor in her head. Okay. That is the biggest pull on hypergamy because there is, there's no greater signal of higher value than you not needing a girl. And especially if she's very beautiful, she has a lot of options. Even if you're a, a run of the mill guy, let's say you're mid-range average guy, you are going to get a couple points on the scale higher in your overall attractiveness just because you know how to pull the psychological levers and register high on that hypergamous scale. So this is just like one tidbit I need you to look out for because the reason why it's so, so, so hard for guys to do this and see this is because when they do commit to a girl, if they like her, they start to genuinely love her. 
like you start to miss her presence you miss her how soft her skin is you miss the smell of her perfume right you 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 miss little things about her that's going to be very hard to start to pull away from that so it's hard because guys don't see that disconnect they're like well she wanted me and i was there for her and we had everything going good between us and now all of a sudden it's not there so they chase and they pursue harder they don't understand that if you're being mistreated or if you're not if if she's losing respect for you they don't understand that you have to cut that cold turkey and it's gonna sting like we've all been there before we know how that stings right away right comment below sting if you've ever <laughs> seen that but it's going to sting you have to be stronger than that sting and that's where like sharpening your masculinity comes into play right that's where like being a masculine man who is stronger than his emotions comes into play that's why being stoic and leading your life with truth is so 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 important so this is one of the things you have to look out for ignore a woman if she does this if you give more commitment and she lowers intimacy and sexual interest that's a big no-go zone okay a massive no-go zone and if you live by that rule you're going to have a much better life to recap guys my inner circle my mentorship the masculinity blueprint where i teach you proprietary systems where i've shown thousands of men the systems of mbt masculine behavioral techniques like the trainings i've been giving guys like this is stuff at our virtual events or at our boot camps you know this is stuff that guys have paid five ten fifteen thousand dollars to learn from me right because it's the holiday season and because i'm i'm tired of watching you suffer I'm, I'm tired of hearing guys suffering. I'm, I'm tired of hearing guys putting their best foot forward and constantly getting rejected. I want to show you and extend you the invitation to be part of this community at literally the best incentive possible because it is the holiday season. I want to give back to you at a, at a deeper degree than I ever have before. And it's very rare for me. I have really never done this before. I've never actually extended an invitation at a low incentive to actually come into my community at this time. So I hope that you guys are having literally the best November. I hope you're going to have the best December. I hope that we all wrap up 2022 with a bang. And I hope that everybody is living their best life and on track to being a full stack one percenter. So hit the like button, guys. Comment and subscribe. Be sure to take me up on that offer, that little gift I put together for you below. And we'll see you in the next one.